to 385 or 491. It's going way too fast for them. I'm just going to back up over here. Maybe I'll hear it after. I got the radio in my van, but they never gave no clearance. They never gave nothing. No customs, nothing. We did have the lights up, but they didn't give the, uh, the final clearance. And we've got customs right down here. They always say, okay, you're cleared. And Stuff like that or getting scanned we didn't hear any of that but that's okay we've seen it coming down the track tug there he might have his nose in the tunnel now going downhill my first train in a few days I've said in a few past videos, uh, out of all the stuff I film, it's starting to get nicer weather now, so, and uh, I have to do a little bit of a cutback on what gets the least amount of views from all the stuff I film, so that happens to be trains. But I'll still be posting up at least one a day, so. just won't be going all the time for three four hours here and there I'll be going like one day and spending the entire day getting as many as I can so I still gotta get back into getting the off-road now uh, car shows and mostly lately is the trucks not the off-road trucks but transport trucks oh here we go short one makes it into this it does say 51 minutes but that's nothing 51 minutes is sitting idle with it screen off but fifty-one minutes is probably about five six seven minutes of recording but we'll see Back up a little, get over here, we got a little sun issue the other way, so. Oh, I'm going to move it right over to here so I get a little bit, it is a little bit of cloud, so it's not too bad. shift down and see what my other camera's getting. It's not positioned correctly. Oh, it's getting good. Alright, uh, just for giggles. 
Check this out. How many can say they videoed a train through another camera? We got a train over here and uh hey, the wrong way. Wrong way. What are you doing? Hey, wrong way. Sorry, that's a friend of mine. He's getting the hawk that's flying around over there. Surprise train, we heard nothing on the radio again. That's two trains in a row, we heard nothing on the radio. Yeah, that was Jamie that had the camera. He did get the engines going by, he did get the beginning of the train as photos, but once that goes by, then uh, yeah. He was getting uh, some hawk that was flying over above us. Looks like it made it. This is the 302. I heard them saying something about 302, but they're just not giving the normal call outs that they're coming over, so. But this is the second train from the tunnel in like 15 minutes. We just had one. And now this one was kind of right on its tail. It's probably one of the quickest I've ever seen two trains coming from the tunnel back to back. Plus one went over just before, so it's probably one of the three, the three quickest trains I've probably ever seen here. Three trains in a half an hour. I'll take it. And I think these guys are grabbing another train and they're going back over, so they'll get off of this train. Uh, these are probably American crew, I would take it, and then they'll probably get off and grab one of the trains that are in the yard here and take it back over to the States. Because if, if you're not aware, we are here in Sarnia, Ontario, which is the tunnel to Michigan is only a mile down the track. So that's where all these trains go and come from. Lots of graffiti, but we don't get any of the good big character art anymore. Like I've said, lots. Used to be two or three of them every train. Now, uh, I don't think I've seen one in about eight or nine trains. I've seen some really good character art. Now they're very rare here. Not like they were like last year, year before, year before. And I think I started filming trains in 2000 and uh, late 2019. Just before COVID. And I did a lot of filming trains during COVID because I couldn't get over to the border to film for my uh, main channel at the time, which is Car Wars. Car Wars with a Z. Got over 100,000 subscribers, over 100 million views, but I wasn't able to film for it for a couple of years when we couldn't cross the border. So I got into doing the trains and ships and stuff like that. And that's what I'm doing here today.
finish it off with some lumbar. Like I was saying, this used to be the M385, and now it's the A485. It's never been a long range train, so it only goes like 100, 200 miles, I think. Something like that. I know it goes from here in Ontario to, uh, to Flat Rock. It goes to Flat Rock, Michigan. So that's just down by Detroit, I believe. So it's a short range train. So I don't know why it was even a, 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 a listed in the long range one before. So it's now a four a five. This is also one of the snail trains, we call them. Because it's very slow for the first while. Most trains would be getting up to full speed by about two, three minutes. This one's usually four to six. And this train probably averages about eight minutes, so. I've seen it go 12 minutes and I've seen it go as little as six if it's a short train. We'll see. I'm going to call uh, clicking off that video and, and that's usually five seconds after it goes by, finishes. I'm going to say 8.03. I'm going to go right in that average. I can see the truck frames way down there. This train's always got truck frames on it. Usually either in one or two batches of them somewhere in the middle and then usually another little pile of them right at the end of the train or near the end. This train can haul up just a various of, of, uh, of stuff. I'm not sure what's in this. Uh, does it say any carboline? Paint. It says paint carboline. Okay. Uh, I've honestly never seen that before. These are probably scrap metal. And that it is. You can't see it in these ones, but you can see it right up there. And those ones right up there up top. You can see chunks of metal. Just like this. Here they're all in big huge cubes big squares of scrap. I don't know if that's just scrap metal. That looks like trash. Yeah, that's compacted trash. I don't know if it's all metal trash, but I don't think so. No. See some plastics in there. That might be going to the trash. It's obviously going to the States. I do believe that a lot of uh, Toronto's trash goes to Michigan. Which is a lot of trash. I remember years ago, and I don't know if this is factual or not, but I thought at one time Michigan stated that they didn't want any more of Toronto's garbage to be put in their dump things or whatever. There's a big area there, and uh, Canada kind of didn't like that, and they just kind of said, okay, well then uh, we don't want your nuclear waste then. And that put a stop to all of that, I guess. But don't know if that's true or not. But if you know anything about that, you know, leave a comment. But I do know a lot of our trash goes to Michigan. Not all of it, but... Yeah. 
Here comes our truck springs. I think this one's going to be longer than eight minutes. So we're at 520 something now and it's still not even picked up speed. And all right, this is a lot of truck frames on this one. This is one big train. It's probably well over 10,000 feet. It might be like 12. Well, he's starting to pick up a little speed now. We're in the five and a half minute mark, so our six minute mark. I can honestly say this is probably one of the most truck frames I've ever seen on this train. Even with them having two areas of them. This is the most I've ever seen. And of course these are going to the Flat Rock Assembly Plant. six or seven or eight or nine it was <laughs> I always underestimate but he's picking up the speed now looks like I'm gonna be well wrong in that time frame of eight oh something it's gonna be more like a ten minute video We haven't seen a DPU. Well, it did have three locos, I believe. I forget. I don't know. That was uh, seven and a half minutes ago now. <laughs> Definitely the 301 because of these uh, hoppers right here are on 301 or 731. And this is not the 731 because it would be all hoppers and I see tankers, auto racks down there so it would be the 301. That is one of the numbers that I heard thrown out. So.
looking for a good place to go rail fanning. Starting is pretty good. Nighttime, we got the lights up here, the LED lights, the overhang. And well, and plus, yeah, an overhang for if it's kind of splitting out or whatever. It blocks the wind, and we get about 20, 25 train, trains over a 24 hour period, but. I've been here right now, I've been here for about uh, three hours, and this is our fifth train, which is pretty good. And I think there's one or two more still waiting to go. Plus, not to mention, there should be some more coming from the States, so back and forth. We might get a Government of Canada hopper in here somewhere, usually, usually near the end. I'm going to predict there's going to be three of them within the last ten cars, and that's what they'll be. Probably wrong, but... Come some of the orange potash ones and agrium. Standard 2CN, that's what most of the trains are now starting this year. They were the common before it was common before, but now it's it's almost every train. They get more and more of the AC engines. So this is one of the snail trains. It can take four or five minutes before it picks up speed. You know it's going a little faster than it normally does already, but.
find on any of today's trains is a DPU. No DPU or no rear engine. Sorry for the movement there. And a scratch. Well, we finally did get a couple of decent graffitis. Stuff we used to get on every train, but now it's pretty rare. Some good character graffiti, cartoon stuff, bigger stuff, not just tiny little things. Especially on the auto rack trains. It used to be three, four, five, six on each one. Now it's about one out of every three or four trains. I said that in one of the videos earlier today, so if you're watching the long video and I just repeated myself, sorry about that. So I do post up each train individually, but then I also do a feature with like three, four, or five trains. Definitely the snail train. Four minutes in, he hasn't picked up any speed. We almost got this train out of Blackwell Side Road. We're coming back from the truck stop, filming some trucks, and we heard them talk about getting a scan, and they were coming up, and tried to get down there and we just seen him going by as we were just about to pull up so then we just came into Sarnia here and uh, and got him here after he got scanned now Blackwell is in Sarnia but it's on the outskirts Finally picking up some feed. You should get some truck frames on this train usually. Not as many as uh, 385 or now 485 now. It's now 8485. Like I said in the last video that I got, M385 is now A485. Well, we got some wheels. A couple cars of wheels. But that 385 or 485, sorry, had a lot of truck frames on it, so. Pretty decent length train. A lot of tankers on this one. Still waiting for the truck frames. Usually they're somewhere near the end. But like, it, it could not happen, but and I know for the fact that there's two of these trains. There's an A491 and an X491. So I'm not sure which one this is, so I'll call it A. We got our end of it coming up. Oh no, I guess not. It just keeps coming. It's so, it's so dark down there, I can't quite see it.
comes the end. I can see it now. Right up here.